in any profession, there's all kinds of professional documentation. And understanding your professional documentation and how to navigate your professional documentation is critical to being good. No one can memorize it all. And even if you did, it keeps changing. The documentation and being able to navigate the documentation to find out what you need to do is critically important. Okay, so when you're done with this, you should be able to locate the IBM Red Books that I referred to earlier. You should be able to locate the ZOS manuals, and you should be able to find the IBM glossary of terminology. For example, if I were to use an acronym, and let's say I used an acronym earlier, LPAR, and I don't know what it is. Well, in this glossary of terminology, the acronym will be there, and it will spell it out. And also, I want you to be able to locate excuse me, the ZOS messages and codes. So that's what we want to get out of this section. So as you can see on this slide here, and oh, by the way, if whenever you see the little book at the bottom, like ZOS Concepts, that's a very good web-based, um, it's not really a professional manual, it's just some things we put together. Very good for learning later, ZOS Concepts. Um, also, the little uh, Smarter Planet icon is actually a hyperlink also, just to let you know, but we're not going to go there right now. The key here is here's the Red Book site, and you can look for things like the ZOS Basics, the ABCs, the hardware manuals, as I mentioned earlier. Now, there is something called the ZOS Bookshelf. Here, this, there's a URL here to get the, to the professional manuals. I am not going to go there right now. We are actually going to navigate this during the week. And you'll actually see that I'm going to go here several times and possibly look things up. But those are where the professional manuals are. IBM terminology. We have a website here. Somebody uses a acronym in the System Z environment or in ZOS that you've never heard of before, go in there and that's where the professional terminology is. There is a site, and um, I have to admit that I heard something the other day and I'm not sure how we're going to handle this, but this site is used throughout the world. You can actually use this look at site for looking up ZOS messages and codes and other things. So it's all out on the internet. Now, we do have manuals with the System Z and ZOS um, messages and codes. However, this site is very, very useful for quickly looking up ZOS messages, and that will become more important to you uh, as we go on later today and I describe messages and codes. There's also a ZOS Basics Information Center. It has a lot of the same information just organized a bit differently to help you find things and to look up specific topics, and the information will be collected by topic. So I'm going to move forward. Okay. This is a summary. So you know about how to find the Red Books. You've got a URL for the manuals. We haven't been there yet, but you've got the URL. You've got the URL for the glossary of terminology, and you also have a URL for ZOS messages and codes.